If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. In this video, I'm gonna help you improve your ball control and your first touch by explaining several different ways to control a football. Now, I'm gonna break it down into three sections. I'm gonna focus on controlling the ball on the ground, for example, a pass from a teammate, controlling the ball in the air, an aerial pass from a teammate, and controlling the ball out of the air, something like this, so you can get the ball down to the ground and play quickly. So to start controlling the ball on the ground, a few things you wanna think about, but before the ball even comes to you, with all these types of receiving, I want you to think about, where am I gonna go with my first touch? So, play the pass, don't receive the ball, and then decide, okay, now I wanna go here, you want to get in the habit of receiving into space. So I'll play that pass again. So how do you do that? You have to be aware of where the space is. The pass comes to me. I already know I want to go here into space. Okay, so start thinking about where you want to go with your first touch. Now coming back to first touch, let's say you just want to receive the ball right in front of you so you can play a pass and move the ball quickly. So let's focus on receiving technique. So first of all, you want to think about your body positioning. I don't want to be up like this, playing a pass. I don't want to be up like this, flat-footed. Yes, I can have a good touch, but can I react quickly if I have to? Play the pass again. So again, athletic stance. And then I can shield the defender. I can move quickly if I have to. So think about getting lower to the ground, getting your body behind the ball. What you don't want to do is play me a pass, play it over here, kind of. I don't want to be lunging to get my touch in front of the ball if I can get my body in front of it. Play the same pass. Okay, I want to be moving. So again, my body is behind the ball. Even if I do have a bad touch, maybe it bobbles up, bounces into my knee or my chest, I can still control it as opposed to this one. So get your body behind the ball. So lots of different ways you can receive the ball. Play the pass. You can receive with the inside of your foot. Again. You can receive with the outside. I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. You could even play it again. Yeah, you can receive with the sole of your foot, something like that. So lots of different ways for you to control the ball, but think about those basics. Knowing where you want to go, athletic stance, controlling your body, and then really focusing on the quality of your first touch, actually watching your foot meet the ball, okay? A lot of players will play on the ball. They're so concerned about what's happening here that they're not actually looking at the ball meet their foot and then it hits the wrong part of their foot and bobbles off or sometimes it goes underneath because they're not focused. When receiving an aerial pass, you're still thinking about the same things. You're still thinking about where am I going to go with my first touch, getting your body behind the ball, and then actually focusing on your technique, your quality. So playing my pass in the air, okay, I'm watching that ball to my foot so then I can touch it. If something's a little higher, I'm still, I'm getting my body behind it, and then my touch is into space. Okay, a lot of times people will do something like this, just throw it out here for me. So say for example, the ball's out here, and instead of attacking the ball, they're putting their foot out waiting for it to come down. Go again. So I wanna move to it and get in front of it. Play me out here a little more. Okay, I wanna move in front of it rather than putting out a limb. Play again. Rather than doing something like that and hoping that you get a good touch on it. So move your feet, get your body behind the ball one more time and then I can play quickly. When that ball is coming into my chest or my foot, I'm thinking about which direction I want to go, so not just hitting it, letting it come down and then going. 
I'm opening up either way, attacking space, but really just get in the habit of attacking the ball. If you can go to it, maybe the pass wasn't hard enough, you want to come to that ball. Okay, if it's on the bounce like that, it's a good example. If you want to get over it, attack that ball. Don't wait for it. Play it again, same pass. Don't wait for it, don't wait for it. Defenders already come and won that ball. So think about attacking the ball rather than waiting for it to come to you. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. Of different ways that you can control the ball out of the air still coming back to those basics being ahead of the play knowing where you want to go before you make your touch you don't want to settle it down and then wait for everyone to close you down when you have the option to attack the space okay play ahead of the game play quicker than you have to it's going to allow you to get away from the defenders have more time on the ball so you can make better decisions but when the ball is coming out of the air you're really thinking about taking the bounce out of it. So if I am doing something like that with my toe, okay, I'm not just hitting it like that. I'm basically absorbing the ball, bringing it down to the ground, okay? So I'm cushioning it down. Same thing if I wanna bring it down with my thigh, I'm not going through it like that. I'm bringing my thigh down to the ground so I can play quickly. With my chest, okay, instead of trying to pop through it, that's just more time for the defender to close you down. Then you take this one, then you take that one as opposed to okay, cushioning it, trying to bring it down quickly. So think about those things. There's lots of different ways for you to practice. You can just put it up in the, in the air and practice all these different techniques. Whatever they may be, okay? Your skill is gonna come from the amount of time that you put into practice. And the more you practice this, the better you will become. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.